Yo, what up guys, Beast 5 d here and the biggest content drop we've all been waiting for is finally open to every player in Raid Shadow Legends. After the beta test just ended, the live arena is open and you just, I mean the active, active time just closed but you still have more time for you to open, for you to spend those awesome arena um, tokens that just right here. Live arena refill tokens that you can used to fight battles now this video is all about letting you know my strategies i used to at least fight some teams in this first um, live arena battle it will always get better and also most importantly how you should be spending your area bonuses the um what do you call this artifacts now live arena crest um bronze silver and gold if you can obtain them where you should be spending them on just like we did in the affinity bonuses that's the new name for great hall bonuses right now we had to advise players to focus on accuracy 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 first of all especially when you the champions you're using for clan boss or dragon need that accuracy but later we started seeing that people for clan boss who likely focus on defense 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 like whether you're using skull crusher or you're still using terrell depends on the champion right so the same thing happens right here now when you want to start spending these um, area bonuses that you obtain you need to be careful to spend it in the right place that's why i wanted to record this video before we talk about my teams that i use let me quickly head straight right here and let you know what i think about these area bonuses especially for the newer players coming into the raid suffering in those arena <laughs> live arena battles winning and then coming here to waste those area bonuses no we don't want that right now so we have to guide the players correctly the first thing first thing you should know is never ever spend area bonuses on this first potion keeps i think that should be clear to everybody if you're not sure why potion keeps is one of the easiest content in raid shadow legends you can beat without high level gear crazy champions you only beat that content when you have the champions that can actually do it so let's say you started two days ago three days ago and you're going in there and those potion keeps are knocking you out give it a week don't just start putting um, area bonuses into potion keeps right here accuracy just because you want to actually beat those bosses no you're better off farming those potion keeps at lower level when you're newer player to the game than spending area bonuses on that content if you're not sure this is what i'm talking about whether it's arcane spirit magic nope don't worry about farm it at nine farm it at two farm it at four or don't farm it at all do campaign do um other content like um mino to get your champions to 60 then you can come back to the potion keep and beat it easily without spending um area bonuses that's the first one so th i think that's pretty obvious for end game players who know that potion keeps is the easiest thing and they can even do it with one champion can go in there and nuke the boss just like that and the waves of course they are also easy now the next piece of content that people should not be spending area bonuses on i think raid even arranged this according to <laughs> They arrange it according to the level that you should not be spending on. So the first one, the most useless one was Potion Keeps and the next one was Ice Golem. So I know I've not scrolled down and I'm already dodge, judging Ice Golem as the weakest one. It's because the gear that we get from Ice Golem is the weakest gear that we need in the game. Like it's not the most um, beginner friendly or end game friendly. It's for super, super end game. Even most end, end game players now get their um, resistance gear not from the ice golem anymore but from the um what do you call it now doom tower that's where most end game players kind of get those end game platinum arena level gear right now the most things people used to come here for was this gear resistance at the early game of this um two years ago or one year ago at least people used to come here to farm resistance gear for pvp content and for doom tower content that needed those high level of resist so that's the only purpose that people used to come here so not provoke sets maybe you might make a case for really reflex sets sometimes if you want to uh, create some awesome looking pvp champions but reflex sets and resist and resistance sets are the two most important ones that people come here for we've been asking for this ice golems um dungeon to get some new sets to get some life breed into it cost sets can people sell it cost sets immediately they get it what does it do 75 percent chance of placing heal reduction 
<laughs> heat reduction. When we have champions who have 100% heat reduction, why would anyone want to put a champion in a cost set? So we've been asking for this to be changed. And of course, for newer players, in the first week, that's when you use a life set. After that first week, you if when you see a life set, even if it's legendary, if I head over to my champions and see who are actually having a life set right now, even if it's legendary, you're like, should I even keep it? The only reason why you want to keep a life set if it has triple roll, triple roll, that's the reason to keep it. Double roll of HP. Else, any other reason, you sell it instantly. This is the most useless set and I don't have any champion in raid that is built with this set. So, this is also something they need to revamp and I'm just giving you examples of why this Ice Golem speak should not be something you spend those your area bonuses on at all this um live arena medals at all don't upgrade this um, area bonus for ice golem that's the second one so what's the third most useless one you should never invest on now it's it becomes a little bit difficult now we've got the two worst one out of the way the rest from fire knight to dragon slayer to spiders then to hydra to demon lord will now be your options so these last ones i just mentioned are your options Anywhere you find yourself struggling right now, if you're early game, if you're mid game, if you're end game, you've not gotten to Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss yet. You're better off going to the Demon Lord right here at the bottom, the last one, Demon Lord. This is where you should be upgrading. What should you be upgrading in Demon Lord? If your champions need accuracy, give them accuracy so they can they can rely on other stats on the substat, not begin to look for accuracy. Substat in your gear, give them the highest amount of accuracy. Plus your, um, what do you call it now? Affinity bonuses right here will help you get the needed accuracy. So some champions might not even need a banner for accuracy. So that's for newer players who have their Frozen Banshee. You have your Occult Brawler. They are all looking for accuracy to do more damage to the clan boss, right? Or they are getting resisted. Get in here and give them that accuracy that they need. So your decreased attack will not be resisted and all that good stuff. So... That's it. Your Razin will need accuracy. A lot of champions you need. But when you get to late game, when you have your unkillable teams that can do two key ultra nightmare battles. I'm talking about your double man eaters or your bat eater teams or your Demeter teams, your helicopter teams. Those teams are working for you. Two key, you never need to come here and spend anything for the Demon Lord. Two key is fine. You don't need to do a one key. With time, you get there with new gear. So... Whether you're doing 2-key or 3-key in Ultra Nightmare, I don't think you need to spend any resource right here in the Demon Lord. So, I guess that cancels it for you. For you. I just had to explain the Demon Lord for newer players who are watching these videos to know that this is their best place to spend resources on because the clan boss gives you so much resources. And if you have these stats, extra stats added for you right here, you will you know, build less gear, less gear requirement for your champions and less stat requirement for your champions. So get these bonus stats right here and also fight the life arena. No matter how many battles you lose, five battles at a row, you lose them. It's very demoralizing, but hey, hit that start battle again. Expand all your tokens, just like you do for PvP content, for 1v1 arena, for 3v3 arena, where you're just going there just to spend the tokens, right? Go in there and don't let your live arena tokens expire. It will be pretty sad if you check right there and you see your tokens expiring. So, see, me, I have 21 hours. Before that, 24 hours I've spent. I think this reset now, I spent like three tokens. Three token refills plus the free one that I got. So, that's it. That's all I had. Two right now. I've spent all. So, if you have five right now and you're not spending it and you let it expire, <laughs> then you're not doing a great job for your arena um, bonuses. Alright, now that we know the reason why you should do Demon Lord and those who should not do Demon Lord, what's the reason why I went towards Hydra Battles? Now, if you've beaten the Doom Tower, if you've beaten the Dragon at 25, you've beaten the Spider at 25, and 10 hard, you've also done 10 hard, you're currently doing all dungeons, you're at the peak level, you're the, <laughs> you know who this video is intended for, but I just wanted to guide you, I guess you are already guided, you know what to do. The, if you don't need to put points into the dragon, you don't need to put points into the spider. What else would you spend points on? Are you doing Hydra Nightmare yet? So that's the only reason why you see me putting points into the Hydra battles. No, it's not because I'm stuck at Hydra Normal or Hydra Hard or Hydra Brutal. If your aim is to get to that level for, of Hydra, come in here and spend points where you think you need the points. So by me focusing a little bit on 
speed it will mean i'll need net less stats on my champions of course you can always go to accuracy you can always go to resistance if that's the type of team you're building i usually have one champion who has the high resist that cannot have his buff stolen so that's why i'm not going resistance over here and later by the time i max out speed which is one of the things that can make you lose the battle fast in the hydra when they go faster than you <laughs> so that accuracy and speed i think is the two ones i need to spend my resources on as an end game player who has been playing for three years so i guess the spider the dragon the fire knight can come later i cannot be this fire knight at hard level yet but that's not a reason for me to begin to spend resources on this because i know that that is not a artifact issue that is not a that's more of a champion issue because that fire knight then had requires specific champions not even good gear they just have to have specific champion and specific stats to beat that fire knight at 10 and from the l hate artifact extractor it seems like nobody who is using that tool has been able to build a team that can beat the fire knight 10 hard mode <laughs> that's what i've been checking so that's why i'm not focused on the fire knight i'm Current, uh, currently okay with fighting the fire knight at 24 25 of normal that's why i'm not going to be spending any of my resources in this fire knight until maybe the community can come up with a better team that can do hard mode then maybe i can change my um idea but for right now the biggest challenge i have is getting to ultra no nightmare hydra that's the biggest challenge so hopefully my clan will be beating brutal soon and i'll be benefiting from but right now i can do a one key on brutal one key on nightmare one key on normal that's why i'm on hard i mean that's why i'm not even worried that much about the hydra so that's my idea about how i'm coming about spending resources right here hopefully you find this one helpful but this video is not over i still have to go over and flex my teams a little bit that gave me some of these resources i use right now what is my strategy right now should i upgrade this move to this i'll upgrade this no i'm not trying to spend my um live arena crest everywhere so this is not the point to get get one star here get one star here no don't split your attention just like you did for this affinity bonuses or greater bonuses where you focused on one item till they got to 10 before you focused on the next item that's the best way to go about it don't be um impatient when you see your 25 like i want to spend this 25 right now i want to spend it right now let me just put it somewhere no you need to wait till the arena opens again you go and fight and get some more guess what the next time i can upgrade right now is when i hit 600 600 is a far away from 25 but i'm willing to fight battles until i hit that 600 to put three star three level into this particular speed that i'm currently boosting for i am um, arena battles for the champions all right let me head over to these um, battles right now and show you even the battle has ended i did not go live to show it off or anything but i still have my battle log to show how many battles i won and how many battles i lost the tier level is still leaderboard is not showing anything yet but hopefully soon we can see it i guess but from what i can see i fought one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think i fought more than 10 battles but it's only showing 10 at a time so out of 10 i lost one two three four five <laughs> so i won five and lost five guess what that's still fine out of 10 battles you win five and yeah <laughs> and some of the teams i said i was going to show off the strategy is if one team works use it again use it again use it again of course you have to make certain changes according to what people are doing but yeah use that team again whenever i see a kaima in the opposite opponent's team i bring in my foley so once i see a kaima i bring in a foley once i see other champions you always have to have two nukas because if you bring in one nuka they will ban your one nuka and you're done for so i'm still fighting this battle with a speed race you know that classic arena thought where you want to go first with your arbiter with your decrease defense with your weaken and then nook that's still the strategy i'm using right here i've not been able to come up with any fancy way of you know circumventing the enemy's defense but i tried it earlier when i was starting these battles i did try to go with um a troll team i can't find it right here in this battle but i did try it earlier it's not showing i did try to go with my Cor corona and minaya combo to make some um, enemies and even a um what do you call it now bomb team along with that so it's either you ban my bomb team that will be revived and go again with cardinal or you 
ban my <laughs> corona team I mean, I and team that will keep stunning you stunning you every time you hit them so but that's too advanced and that sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't some enemies know how to deal with that so i just decided to go with the speed team and most of the speed team whatever you come across it most enemies will go with a tanky team so once they see you selected an arbiter they're like hmm let me not try to go fast against other people let me go slow and tanky and stone skin stone skin stone skin i hate stone skin as you can see um was this champion that always put block revive on me so this and this enemy even had two and lure us over there and i could not even ban one i was like let me have them both of them thinking i'll cleanse their block um their unkillable buff but i did not so that's son of son of my team i know it seems like one team but yes you have to repeat that same team that works for you and that's how i was able to get out of bronze one i'm currently i'm bronze two not much but i lost a lot of battles to get there i just wanted to show you guys my progress so far so if you're not yet at i think the next time it opens up i'm gonna be climbing to bronze three because it will be over 1000 points by then that i've gotten so far and what i noticed i've not really dug deep into how they are counting the points is that you don't lose as much battles you have some um protection against losing battles i don't i don't want to check it out right now let me see battle rules none schedule the next schedule is in a few hours three hours i want to see the um the ranking system how it's gonna look like if you want to find out more about the live arena you can click that button and you can see area bonuses i'm looking for the what makes you not lose battles or what makes you not lose ranks when you lose battles because i did lose some battles and i was still at 65 i lose another battle i was still at 65 i was like what's going on there are some seems to be some protection against you losing a lot of battles and falling back into bronze one that's what i noticed because i still stayed at bronze two after losing a lot of battles but anyways that's this video i just wanted to let the newer players know what to spend this um new live arena quest on and how i'm struggling to get out of bronze as fast as i can as usual so i can get into silver and start farming some awesome amazing resources to get my um, stats as high as possible for pve content of course we'll always be pressuring raid to remove potion skip at least for this one even if you want to leave ice golem it's fine potion keeps is not something you should deceive newer players into spending their hard end live arena crest on because the whole point of it being at the top is for you to spend on it without you knowing so that's why i have to put out this video if you're new to the game do not spend on this just like if you're new to the game you don't want to go start upgrading attack 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 or hp hp when you have other resources crit damage accuracy crit um, defense to focus on so whether you're upgrading affinity bonuses i do already have a video out about how you can go about well it used to be called great hub bonuses so search that on my youtube and you find that video about how you can go about maxing this out as fast as possible and i'll be coming up later when i find out more strategies that we can use to win consistently right now my, my win is on a 50 percent and it's totally fine these um arena token tokens are free when you start spending gems on it that's when you have a right to be mad about losing battles but right now that you're, sp you're they're giving it to you for free they give like five spend it all and it gives you extra five from here spend it all and don't get so mad when you lose battles because there are always players who are better than you in raid and it will always happen until you get to that point where you um, can start beating everybody you come across i guess good luck to you guys and let me know your strategies that you use to fight these battles i'd like to know your team if you have screenshots head over to the discord and share it with me if you got over 70 70 win rate or 80 percent win rate congrats to you i guess i like to know which teams are working which teams are not because right now i'm going with my good old abita kaima lady kimi speed boosting teams where each of them get um band i put in the next one into the leader slot and let my nukas try to finish the work by going first maybe i'll talk about a go second team when i figure out one that works all right guys help me hit like in this video if it helps you out if you're new to read and you find this useful i'm always looking forward to your feedback in the comments below because nobody knows it all i guess i'll see you guys in the next one later guys